quality and stocking details, treatments given to soil and water, water exchanges, feed type and quantity, water quality parameters, information on health status of shrimps, harvest information, expenditure and income detail. It is a prerequisite for traceable shrimps in the market. If there is decrease in the feed consumption or mortality in the pond, test the shrimp for white spot disease. If the disease is confirmed, plan to harvest the pond immediately. Inform and coordinate with other society farmers to prevent spread of the disease. Do not move farm workers or exchange farm equipments from diseased ponds to other ponds. Shrimps from each pond should be tested in MPEDA approved ELISA laboratories for presence of antibiotic residues before the harvest. Analysis report has to be submitted to the exporter along with the harvested shrimp. Coordinate the harvest with other farmers in the farming society. Make sure the neighboring farmers are informed about the harvest. Check if there are any molted shrimp. Do not feed the shrimp six hours prior to harvesting to keep the gut empty and improve the shelf life of the shrimp. Harvest between six o'clock in the evening and six o'clock in the morning. Complete the harvesting process as quickly as possible. Catch most of the shrimp with bag net Use more water pumps if necessary to complete the harvesting in time. Thoroughly wash the shrimps in clean water and dip the shrimps in slurry of ice for about 15 minutes for chill killing. All the time make sure good quality ice is used during chill killing and packing. Use equal quantity of shrimp and crushed ice with proper mixing for transportation. Before stacking the packed boxes one above the other, make sure the bottom of the boxes are clean. Shrimps free of antibiotics are harvested and transported quickly in insulated vans to the processing plant. Certified shrimps are in great demand in the international market. This can give an edge to farmers in a highly competitive international market. Responsible and successful farmer societies are attractive to the banking and insurance sectors to extend credits and crop insurance. This will reduce the financial burden on farmers. So what are we waiting for? Let us organize as societies adopt BMPs and achieve success.